Pokemon of the Month, Farig Giraffe. What's going on? I'm Pokewelder Zach, aka Mr. Zoto. This is my workshop, and today we're making Farig Giraffe, the evolution of Giraffe Rig. So, with all that, let's get on to the build. All right, we're gonna start off with the top left here for Farig Giraffe's head. Uh, the six parts there are gonna be made up of the two different uh, parts of the head, with the antenna and the flat links for the teeth. Then at the bottom part of this, we have the main body along with the spikes. Uh, two six links will be used to add some volume to the body. Uh, and then we will be using some three links as well as some two links to create the legs and hooves. So to get started, we will uh, start off with the main body here, uh, tacking each of these little spots here just to keep it in place as we position everything else, line them up. Uh, and get the uh, main positions how we want them. Now, uh, for the spikes, we take uh, two, uh, three links and with the open ends, and we kind of bend them out so we can create those spikes, but they're still attached at the main, um, so at the base of them, which just makes it easier for uh, welding. Add a quick tack on each side to hold them in place, and then take the six links off, do a little bit of magic, get them all cleaned up, and uh, set them back out to get ready for welding. So to start the welding part here, putting them all together, we're gonna stack those middle two parts and weld, uh, just do some quick tacks all along the edges. Uh, I found that this is sort of the best for keeping them, um, keeping them clean and looking good so that those, the sides that I am attaching, like the side of the body here, uh, is nice, flat, and I don't have to do any additional cleaning on it, so. Um, now adding those two six pieces to add the volume and adding the spikes on the back of the neck, uh, just sort of lining them up so they uh, flow with each other as well as uh, don't interfere with the body. So after getting those uh, spikes tacked on, uh, we now have the main body of Frig Giraffe. All right, onto the head or the double head. Uh, gonna quickly tack everything here to keep it in place. And then we will uh, create the antennas, which are made out of two links. And in certain in order to keep them having that sort of ball on the top, um, I cut part of the, the open side off, uh, which makes it still have that sort of antenna and get a little thicker at the end. So to make these outside part of the head, we take the four links, put them on the six links, tack them on each side, clean them up and put them off to the side. And then for the main head, which is also the more giraffe looking head, uh, we are gonna take those four links that are uh, sort of folded over each other and just tack the base of them, then put them inside the uh, two open halves of the head. Once those are uh, tacked together, we can weld them all together at the base of all the heads and start adding on the antenna. I'm not really sure what they are, but I'm gonna keep calling them antenna because it's the closest thing I can think of. Um, we pretty much just do a quick tack on uh, the base of them to hold them in place, and then we can add the head onto the main body. We attach it by welding on the bottom and sides, uh, and then later I go back off camera and sort of add in uh, a couple spots around the neck too, just to make it more secure. Um, right there, I took the two uh, single link pieces, cut them in half to create hooves, and I'll be adding three link pieces with closed ends onto each of the hooves to create the legs. Once those legs are mostly done, uh, they're still loose here, and so I kind of put them on the body to shape them up, get them how I want with the sort of bent leg look of the giraffes, and then I can start adding them on. The front legs have a little bit less than the back, but overall they're pretty much the same design and just get tacked onto both sides. Now for the final details, are gonna be adding those flat links, which were cut in half. I'm gonna be adding those onto the part of the outside head, uh, which kind of gives it a chain chomp look, which is gonna be even more noticeable once the paint gets added. We're gonna finally clean it up with a uh, angle grinder, flat disc and then a dremel bit and that will be the um, pretty much the main build portion for Farig Giraffe. Uh, this is its raw uh, raw chain form. To get onto the painting we will add an orange base coat 
and then start with the additional details by um, using a dark brown on the neck, back, and spikes. Uh, this is, you know, making sure to get in, in between all the cracks and crevices so none of that orange uh, sticks out. Uh, since it is pretty bright, it's pretty easy to see. So one of the key things here is making sure to get between um, all of the different flat links on the back, um, as well as all those little cracks and crevices where the, um, where the orange can easily stand out. I took a couple coats to make sure I covered all the orange. Uh, got to finish off the front. Um, and then we can start adding some dark paint onto the head. So this black paint is, again, it just makes it look even more like a chain chomp. Uh, this is the outside head, um, just using acrylic black paints and then going over the teeth um, with a white paint just to make them stand out nice and bright. We're going to add yellow uh, for the eyes of the chain chomp head uh, and go back to black for just a moment to get the hooves uh, painted nice and dark down there. All right, back to yellow again to add the final details, uh, which are going to start with the feet down here, um, just adding yellow on the inside and outside. Uh, and then we'll be finishing them up um, by adding yellow on the belly and the full inside of the legs. Uh, this came from a second review of for a giraffe here, as I noticed that it did have some yellow on the belly as well as the inside of the legs. I was actually pleasantly surprised that it only took one coat because typically yellow does not uh, coat very well and it usually takes like two or three but uh, this particular time yellow worked out really good. Um, now it's time to add that same yellow onto the ends of the uh, neck spikes here. So most of the spike is brown and then just the ends there are going to be yellow and making sure to get the inside and the outside of them. The final bit of yellow detail will be the top of Frig Giraffe's head. Uh, just make sure to be extra careful not to paint the uh, chain chomp portion of the head and just to get the Frig Giraffe middle head. And then we're going to finish it off with a cute tiny pink nose. Um, those final details just sort of, they, they really do end up making the difference when you get the final product. So there we have it. That is the final uh, painted form for Frig Giraffe. Would love to hear your comments on uh, any of the designs. Let me know what you think and let me know what Pokemon you'd like to see in the future. Thanks for sticking around to the end. I hope you enjoyed the build and watching Frig Giraffe come to life. Let me know in the comments below what Pokemon you'd like to see in the future and stay tuned because we're going to be keeping the Pokemon of the month ongoing.